Hello friends, today we will see about first generation cephalosporins. As we already know, they are more active against gram positive and less against gram negative bacteria. They are not mostly used nowadays. First generation cephalosporins are cephalexine, cephadroxyl, cephredin and cephazolins. We can remember them by mnemonic Lexi and Roxy. So our rat in Zolin's house. Now we'll see cephalexine. Cephalexines are less active to staphylococci and H influenza produced by pelicininase. As we already know, pelicininase are the enzymes produced by bacteria. Which are, which are resistant to penicillins. Cephalexines are orally more effective. The plasma half-life is 1 hour. It is less to use and antibiotic. And the main point about cephalexine was it was to be used 3 times a day. Now we will see the indications of cephalexines. We can, uh, we can prescribe it to the bacterial infections of nose, lungs such as pneumonia, bone infections, skin infections, etc. They are contraindicated in renal failure patient such as dialysis patient, blood clotting disorders, dehydrated, dehydrated patients. The side effects, diarrhea are, is the most common side effect seen in the first generation cephalosporins, skin rashes, angioedema and itching. Now we will talk about the doses of cephalexine. Capsule in we can give 250 to 500 milligrams 3 times a day. In a dry syrup 125 milligrams per 5 ml. And pediatrics 100 mg per ml. Now we will move to our further antibiotic that is cephadroxyl. It is mostly used first generation cephalosporin. It has good tissue penetration. The plasma life of it has plasma life of one hour. It can be given hour 12 hoursly as good tissue penetration. It is advised BD. Now we have just seen that uh, cephalexine is prescribed as three times a day, and it now cephadroxyl is uh, advised two times a day. It is indicated in throat infections such as tonsillitis, urinary tract infections, skin infections, etc. The contraindications and side effects are same as of cephalexine. The doses in capsule form it can be given 250 to 500 milligrams twice a day in dry syrup 125 mg per 5 ml and kit tabs that is 100 mg per ml. Now we will move to our next antibiotic cephazoline. Cephazolines are active against Klebsiella and E. coli. They are the first first generation cephalosporin which can be given by parental roots. That means we can give them through IV root, intravenous root. Plasma half life is 2 hours. They are indicated in bacterial infections of soft tissue infection. Lungs infections such as pneumonia, post surgical infections, skin infections, etc. They have the same contraindications, contraindications and side effects as that of cephalexine and cephadroxyl. Now, it is advised as intravenous, so we can give it through 250 mg, either 500 mg or 1 gram while BDO TDS for 5 to 7 days. 
now we'll move on to our next antibiotic that is cefridine it is contraindicated orally if it is orally prescribed it will definitely lead to diarrhea so parental root is preferred to it that is ivy root it has the same plasma life as that of others that is 2 hours it is indicated in soft tissue infections lung infections post surgical infections skin infections etc it has the same contraindication and side effect as that of other and first generation antibiotics and the dose is 250 either 500 or 1 g vial bdo tds for 75 days 5 to 7 days